Welcome to my channel. This is an e-bike motor. It's a front hub mounted. And we have a problem with it where every time we go ahead and request power, uh, the bike just stops and starts and pulsates. So if you're having this problem, this may be your issue um, on your bike. We're going to go ahead and have to disassemble it because we've already tested it. And we found that one of the Hall Effect sensors are not responding when we rotate the uh, wheel. The uh, one in failure is the yellow marked wire. Right now we have it all the way down, broke down to a stator and axle, so we can go ahead and remove that sensor. They have it epoxied in there. That's the broken wire that was to the defective sensor. What you have to do is uh, just tear it apart. Here's the e-bike testing device that we bought. I think they're about $20 US. And this gave us a feedback. Um, as you can see, it's got the A, B, and C, which is the blue, green, and yellow all sensors. The motor hall lines are what we're going to look at. Those LEDs as we go ahead and rotate it. These are the replacement pack that we'd bought for this particular motor. And then you're going to see A, B, C, or blue, green, and yellow. That's the yellow one that was in failure. That's the green, and that's the blue. And over here, once again, you have blue, green, and yellow, or A, B, and C for the hall lines. As we rotate it, it will determine um, what direction um, and the rotation of the magnets. As you rotate the orientation of it, has to have a feedback that goes to the motor control system. And then that will go ahead and uh, allow it to fire off the voltage to whichever coil is uh, next in line. As we rotate it, You'll see the little LEDs on that column I was pointing to earlier. They'll light up. Right now you have B, which is in green. That's a green wire. Then this is A, which is the blue wire. And then as I rotated before, the yellow never came on on the top. Now it comes on. As it rotates, it uh, gives that feedback, like I said, to the system. Here's a where they had epoxy that sensor into the stator. There's the broken wire on the defective sensor. Here's a screenshot of something uh, off of, um, I think it was Amazon. They're about a dollar a piece. The rust, that's what caused the problem. It corroded the connection and um, inadvertently, that's what happened. It, stop this uh, motor from rotating correctly. Here's the pack that we bought. Yours may be different, just see if you can find a number on it, and that'll give you your values that correspond to your unit. We reassembled it, and it's running uh, like a charm. Uh, not much money spent on it, just a lot of time and effort. And anyways, if you're having this problem, hopefully this video will be helpful to you. And um, you can go ahead and determine what's wrong with your um, e-bike with the testing unit. This one just happens to be um, the haul line. Anyways, thank you for watching and take care.